Nathan, I live with my family in a big forest in Canada, close to a river. The landscape is spectacular here, and it's sometimes difficult to find your way back home. This instrument here is a compass. It helps you find your way. Can you help me finish making it by putting the pieces in the right place? Over to you! This direction is north. This one is east. Great! You found west! This is south. Well done! You have found the four compass points. I use these four directions to find my way. North, south, east, west. I'll explain how my compass works in the next game. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water! Touch the... My brother is at home, but I felt like going for a walk in the glade. We're standing by my favorite tree. <laughs> I'm hungry. I might take a bite out of it later. But in the meantime, let's play with the sun and the shadows. Put the sun or the shadow where they are in the morning. towards noon. <laughs> exactly! The sun is the middle and its shadow is very small. Put the sun or its shadow where they are in the evening. You now know how these two things move together. You can even see this happen in your everyday life. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done. You've won some water. Touch the screen to continue playing. Flying through space is fun. The blue ball that you can see is planet Earth. That's where we live. Over there is the sun. The sun is a star, a ball of molten gas that illuminates and warms the Earth. Mummy Beaver and the children have stayed on Earth. Let's see what they're doing at each hour of the day. Look, the Earth is spinning. My family is going from the dark into the light. Your turn. Make the Earth spin. Move my family around until they reach the red numbers. Soon they won't be able to see the sun from where they are. They'll say the sun is setting. Move Mummy Beaver and the children to the blue numbers. It's midnight. 
My family is asleep. Try to wake them up. Move them around to the green numbers. Look, they've just woken up. They can only see half of the sun. It's dawn. A new day is dawning. Put my family on the yellow numbers. The sun is high in the sky. It's noon. It's the middle of the day. Now you know that the sun doesn't really set anywhere. It's just that the forest where I live no longer receives the rays of the sun because the earth is spinning. Now, let's see how to divide the hours between day and night. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done! You've won some water! You have seen that the Earth is spinning. When it rotates fully, one day has gone by. This time period is divided into 24 parts. We call them hours. Let's play a game to understand this better. Put the sun on 14. Put the sun on 1. Put the sun on 18. Put the sun on 5. Put the sun on 22. Put the sun on 12. Well done. That was brilliant! You are really starting to understand the hours of the day. It's time to play with a clock. Before we move on, I'd like to show you something. Well done! That was brilliant! There's magic in the air! Close the chest and you'll get a surprise! Well done! You've won a sun! Touch the screen! Now that you know why there are only 12 numbers on the clock, help me put it together. Put the numbers where they belong. You still have some numbers to place. Now move both hands of the clock. You'll need a screw to hold them into place. Well done! You've built a cuckoo clock. Let's play with it and soon you'll be able to tell the time on any kind of clock or watch. Cut up the cardboard box to find out what's inside. Well done! You won a cranberry seed! Tut Now it's time to learn how this clock works. The small red hand shows the hour. Set the hour to 4 o'clock p.m. Set the hour to 3 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 11 o'clock p.m. Set 
Set the hour to 8 o'clock p.m. Set the hour to 9 o'clock p.m. Set the hour to noon. Well done. We're ready to play with the big hand. Press the cloud to fill the bucket. Well done. You've won some water. Touch the screen to continue playing. There are always two hands on a clock. The small one sews the hour, and the big one sews the minutes. Using the two hands, big and small, try to set the clock to the right time. Set the hour to 10, 15 p.m. Set the hour to 7. 30 a.m. Set the hour to 2, 15 p.m. Set the hour to 6, 15 p.m. Set the hour to 3 o'clock a.m. Set the hour to 6.45 p.m. Well done! You're doing really well with the big hand. Now we can move on to something a bit more difficult. There's magic in the air. Close the chest and you'll be well. In order to give an exact time, your ancestors divided the hour into minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. The two hands of a clock are linked. They move together. The big hand sews the minutes. Every time it goes right around the dial, the small hand... It's time for the clock challenge. To win points, press the big red button when the hands sew the same hour as the digital dial. Children all over the world are trying to beat the record. It's your turn now. Are you ready? Let's go! Thank <laughs> you. 